hey guys welcome back to this channel it's makes from the makes creation uh, thank you so much for coming back to the channel and if it's your first time please consider subscribing and supporting this channel uh, the journey let us finish up the journey together thank you so much for those subscribers and thank you so people that have come to this channel i really appreciate it. what are we talking about we talked about a lot of things in today's video we are going to talk about the topic that's normally discussed and discussed in name but still people do not get the right way of the right answers to that and i've always given you the right answers and this is what we're talking about we are talking about how much are you paying in Qatar? you are a cleaner you are a security guard you are a technician how much is a person supposed to earn in Qatar? that is what you pay what is your basic salary it is quite very 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 important why do we have to bring this topic why do we have to talk about this because we have our brothers and our sisters that are planning to come after world cup we shall see a lot of recruitment jobs coming in we shall see the recruitments will come most of the time people talk about what you want to hear but they do not give you exactly what it is and if people talk about salary they talk about five thousand they talk about four thousand they talk about five thousand i'm handling five thousand i'm handling two thousand five hundred i'm handling three thousand five hundred that's Qatarial as salary yes that is a broad grand figure of what we're talking about but what is the basic root of that amount of money which we call the basic salary how much you as a person the first person coming in Qatar what do you expect your salary to be what do you expect your startup salary this is what i have to let you know remember march 2021 a gazette was passed the basic minimum salary in Qatar was raised to 1000 that is what i have to let you know so as you coming to this gulf country to come to get up a blade a plate or to get up a job to look for a job i don't know which kind of job you may be willing or you may be recruited for depending on what you call your work visas and that you've done know that your basic salary for eight hours you are going to earn what we call one thousand kata real for that equivalent you can try to convert it back to your own country that is going to be your basic salary on top of that basic salary which all employees in Qatar are entitled to, you are going to be added on what you call a food allowance. That food allowance is going to be 300. And what does it mean in that limit? Meaning that for the total eight hours that you'll be working, wherever you'll be working, wherever you'll be taking, as per your company requirement, you'll be earning 1,300, including what you call the food allowance. However, that is that is for only eight hours duty remember when we are talking about food allowance it is just a token that is added on what you are supposed to receive on two conditions one condition if that company you are working for working for he's going to provide or that company or that company will be providing for you food what food are we talking about we are talking about three meals we are talking about lunch we are talking about dinner then we are talking about breakfast if that company is going to provide for you those three meals as per the requirement by the labor law is that company will not give you the 300 real as a food allowance meaning that for your eight hours as you come to this gulf country you'll be earning 1000 hope i'm right then on situation two if this company is not going to provide food then you'll be entitled to that token of what you call 300 meaning that all total for eight hours you are earning 1300 plus food you are earning 1000 kata real if the company provides for you food that is how that one is calculated so wherever you come into this country you know they give you those job offers i know some most of the job offers they are going to take down those breakdowns you'll see those breakdowns then they will definitely specify and tell you that when you work what you call an overtime this is the amount of money that you'll be earning the grand total you'll be earning this to some companies, they go an extra mile of breaking down the overtime, how your overtime will be calculated. That is good for some companies. Yes, there are those companies that are there. And there are those companies that will give you what you call a block figure. They will say you are working for 30 days and we are giving you 1,400. Meaning you are going to work for those 30 days minus off. 
So you get prepared for that. No, you get prepared for that. Then we are looking at situation two. There are companies that do not provide accommodation to their employees. In case you fall in that category of that company and it's not going to give you accommodation, meaning that on top of 1,300, basic salary 1,048 hours, a token of food allowance in case they don't give you food, and they will be giving you an addition of 500 in case they are not going to provide what we call the accommodation. Right. So what does it mean? That a total of your amount at the end of the month for eight hours will be 1,800. Food allowance 300, uh, accommodation 500, and the basic salary is 1,000. But in that situation too still, if this company is going to provide for you accommodation, which most of the companies I think they are doing to ease up the work, then you are entitled to free 1,300 Qatarian as the basic salary for eight hours. And for the other extra hours, in case you are working 12 hours, it will be calculated as overtime. But still something that I need to let you know, out of that offer overtime sometime, there are small clinches that we need to understand. There is what you call bus failure because of traffic, that is not going to be calculated. Some companies not calculated. Then we look at another situation whereby most of the companies calculate overtime for only three hours. Why? If you work for eight hours, meaning that to make up the 12 hours, you have a balance of what you call four hours. But remember, your transportation from your accommodation to the area of your work or from your area to your work, some companies give it one hour. 30 means, 30 means 2 and 30 means 4, meaning that the overtime you are left with is 3 hours. So those companies will calculate for those 3 hours and that is what we give you. And all different companies have different calculations of the overtime that divert away from what the government is being given or what is given. So that is how at the end of it all or at the end of the month, you will see how much you have to get if you are working for eight hours or if you are going to work for what you call 12 hours but remember different companies have different what you call different projects in one way or the other so there will also be other factors that will determine how much you add according to a particular project you are working in how many hours you are working with uh, how many hours you are working and how better they have to calculate that over time hope i've tried to share up something for people who ask about the salary. So as you are coming for the first time you are coming in Qatar, let us not talk about the jobs, we talk about the jobs, we talk about, but we should know exactly what am I entitled to when I'm coming here for the first time. For the first time you are entitled to 1,300 for eight hours, but if your job offer has 12 hours, then that means you will see a bigger figure which will include even the overtime being split or calculated together. Thank you so much for coming back to this one. It's next for the next question. See you again.